Hey CFE family, uh, first things first to all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Uh, obviously this is the day to celebrate you. We would not be here if it weren't for you, so thanks for all that you do. Coach Colin here coming live from the Mac Shack with Monday's workout briefing, all right? Let's go over the warm up first thing. Three times through, 15 seconds of jumping jacks, toe touches with the reach, then mountain climber, climbers followed by down ups. Just a quick review of the down ups. Remember it's that half burpee, no jump. Keep those feet back and then just replace those hands with your feet. That is that down up. That'll take you about three minutes and then we're gonna transition into the DROM daily range of motion. Knee huggers, standing quad stretch, standing pigeon, the Cossack squat, the prayer stretch, bootstrappers with the reach, and then that yogi push-up. Remember a bootstrapper with that reach, we're gonna go into a little bit of a wider stance, and I'm gonna squat down. First things first, add that reach stretch, grab both toes, then extend those hips, back down, turn and face the other way. Remember with that yogi push-up, very similar to that dive bomber, hips high, head through, down, and then press up, right? Back to that down dog, and then in that push-up position, down, and press up. After the daily range of motion, then we have our May challenge. We continue with that burner warm-up, followed by the skill transfer exercises. So move with the purpose. Hopefully you're getting a little more proficient in those movements, and have some fun. Think about the priorities with each and every movement. For today's workout, we are doing Cindy, a 20 minute AMRAP consisting of five pull-ups. And if we don't have a pull-up bar at our discretion, then it's gonna be five dumbbell rows or an object row. Think about five reps on one side, followed by five reps on the other. Then we have 10 push-ups, and then last but not least, 15 squats. So you're gonna go through that triplet as many times as you can in 20 minutes. We are in the month of May. Towards the end of the month, we have Memorial Day. Our common workout that we always do is MRF. So this is a great way to start building up and prepping for MRF. For those of you athletes that typically do MRF with a weighted vest, this is a good opportunity to challenge yourselves and start prepping for MRF. So you might wanna think about adding a vest. Otherwise, if we are not doing a weighted vest, you're still gonna get one heck of a workout. We're trying to continually move with a purpose for 20 minutes, right? With that dumbbell row, remember, think about good morning style, bending at that waist, that back is straight, that chest is above the hips, and most importantly, and then we start with the arm locked out, and then pull two, or squeeze that shoulder blade, five on one side, five on the other. After that, the push-ups. Your version of push-ups, if I need to go onto my knees or an elevated surface, really stay tight in that midline, still keeping that back flat, elbows tracking back, only that chest touching the ground, and then press to lock out, and air squats. You know the drill with air squats, make sure you hit that proper depth and those hips open up at the top. At the end of 20 minutes, uh, we are done with Cindy. We're gonna go through our cool down. Child's pose, thread the needle, and lizard lunge, right? Child's pose, I'm on my hands and knees. Sink those hips back. Exhale, allows you to kind of sink a little deeper into that stretch, that head through, and then that thread the needle. I'm gonna keep one arm extended, take the other arm, slide it through, and then press that chest to the ground. Lizard lunge, I'm gonna stride out with one foot. Sink those hips down to the ground. I might want to get a little knee, add a little additional pressure to help open up the hips. I can accentuate the stretch, challenge myself by lifting that back knee off the ground as well. And then that lizard part too, I can take that elbow towards that front foot. Make sure you spend some time on both sides. That is your Monday workout, Cindy. Let's get it. New week, new opportunities. Continue to get better. Thanks for tuning in.